Hello and welcome everybody. My name is John Hobby and you're looking at some Las Vegas casino chips. Now, this is a video of my top 10 favorite poker chips, all right? And a keen viewer, I love my viewers, they're very intelligent. Many of them have much more experience than I do when it comes to the poker chip world, mentioned that, oh no, what's the point of even having your ratings if all of your chips are average, okay? So we're, you know, discussing that real quick here. <laughs> the reason why they're average is because they fit in here with this main normal curve, all right? And people are gonna use terms like second and third quartile and all sorts of nonsense, but the, the majority of chips fit in here, right? So you just grab an chip set, okay? So what's off, this has just happened to be convenient. I'm not trying to zero anybody out. This is made by Claysmith. This is called Mint or The Mint, right? Lots of, lots of cues taken from movies and various other things. That is a very good, handsome chip. I don't absolutely love it and I don't hate it. There are some chips that I hate, I despise. I think it's an insult to poker chips that they're being made. And then you get a lot of chips like this and pick something else, you know? Pioneer Club was like that. Uh, I'm looking, <laughs> the Las Vegas chips right up here. You know, these are in that category too of just very mediocre and poker chip. They do the job of being a poker chip. They all fit in here. They're all very average. Manufacturing, you know, quality control, tolerance is my personal feelings towards them. Now, there are a few that stand out, and that's what we're going to talk about today. Over here on this side of the curve, my favorite top 10 stock poker chips available in the United States 2017. Phew, say that three times fast. All right. Now, get that out of the way. Now we're on our my really worn felt surface here. Number 10. Any guesses what number 10 is? Somebody probably guessed it. Next Gen Pro Classic. These are, this is such a useful utilitarian set. Unlike those other chips that are in that average section of how I feel towards them. And remember, this is my own personal feelings towards the chip. So I'm throwing science and quality control and cost, all of that out. Just there's something about these. Uh, the, yeah, cost kind of plays a role in it because I look at these and they're very affordable. These are very much an entry level, or at least they were when I purchased them two years ago, an entry level poker chip, but there's no metal insert. So they have that very casino-esque kind of weight to them. They have square corners, so they stand on end. The numbers are easy to read. The denominations are easy to read. Sure, there's a dollar sign, so maybe the Euro crowd might not be super fond of these, various other things, but you know, they're very solid chip that I love. I love these chips. They're so much fun. Okay, so that's number one. Pro Classic, just my preference. I love them. Number nine, there we go. Okay, see, I'm, always, I'm going to double check here a lot. 10, nine. Number nine is the Escona. And if you watch my review, these came out as very average, but the quality control is excellent and they have a nice hybrid feel. Now, there are some other hybrids that I'm trying to acquire. So this list could easily change throughout the year. But as of right now, these left an impression on me. I'm not a super huge fan of the pastel colors, but like some of these colors are pretty bold, like this five. So there are some chips I really like, and there are some that I'm kind of lukewarm to, like this 1000. And there are some colors that are kind of similar when you go through the whole set. Uh, just not, you know, necessarily my favorite set in the world, but I really like the way they feel, and that makes up for some of the looks. So the feel of these hybrid Ascona chips available at Apache, Apache uh, not Apache, Apollo and Chips or something. I'll put links to all of these down below and where to buy them or where I bought them anyway. And all the places that I'm going to list below are places that I've had good luck with. I'm not saying you will, if you haven't, or if you do have your, if you want to share your experience, leave a comment. So Apollo and Chips is the name of that site, Escona Hybrid. So it's actually a label here inside of a ceramic chip lovely feeling chips very flat very stable easily stackable love that set now coming in at number eight we have the scroll poker chips and again these are and you'll notice kind of there's a theme here repeating here i'll talk about that in a minute these are lovely ceramic chips and because they're so affordable it it's easy to like them granted they're not the cheapest poker chips in the world but they are very affordable Okay, and again, read the description on where I would purchase these. And I actually purchased all of these chips. I don't get any of these chips for free because uh, I'm genuinely looking 
for some poker chips, some stock poker chips. We'll probably delve into custom chips in a later video. But one reason why these are kind of at the bottom of the list is you'll notice they're just and chip. There's no, there's like zero branding. Oh sure, there's kind of a little P right here for Pro, the next gen Pro classic style chip. But people don't walk out, you know, they don't walk away from your poker table thinking, oh wow, those next gen Pro classics were awesome. They're just and chip. They do the job, they get the job done, they're lovely, nobody thinks twice about it. Same thing with Scroll. These aren't branded Scroll, Casino Club, Las Vegas. It's just N poker chip, number, color, easy, edge spots, ceramic. We get it. Done. Now we're getting into something I'm really, really head over heels over. Milano. You read about some of the cues and you, you know, obviously recognize some of the cues, like some of the classic Bellagio inlays. Just some lovely design and thought went into this china clay again read the description for where i purchased these and where i would recommend that you purchase these lovely milano china clays love the edges the feel the texture the material and we're going to move on to number six and that is key west now this is also kind of an interesting discussion right here these are available on the Key West website, so you, you just Google Key West Poker Chips and you'll get to this Key West Resort and Casino, Fantasy Casino, lovely poker chips, and you can purchase these. These are kind of expensive because they are made by Classic Poker Chips, which specializes in custom poker chips, but these are available as a stock design through the Key West organization, and these feel spectacular. These out of the top 10 that I'm going to list here, these feel the best. Uh -huh, but there you see there's more to a poker chip than just the feel. With these, the colors. Well, why don't you just customize You're right, I'm going to. So you will see some custom chips in the future here on this channel. But representing classic poker chips as a stock poker chip, I have to include this. This genuinely is one of my top picks when it comes to stock, po stock poker chips. Again, they're very, very pricey for what they are. But, you know... I'm talking about what I like. We're throwing science out the window, right? There's going to be some science to what I like. But all that, you know, everything, all that thrown out, these are definitely in the top 10. Now we're moving into the top five. And this is where there's going to be, I mean, a lot of these, I'll, I'll show them when they're all out. There's going to be a lot of discussion here. Majestics. Okay, this is a China clay available through Apache Poker Chips. Again, see the, see the description below. Lovely China clay, very bold. You compare all of these, they're very consistent, very bold across the range. I love the corners, the edges, the feel of them, the stamping on them, the labels. They're just lovely, lovely China clays. What more can I say? And I expect everybody's going to have different opinions about all of these. Next, this is something that fluctuates. This Nevada Jack set, it fluctuates here, but it's consistently in my top 10. I really like the Nevada Jack. One reason why, so let's take it compared to the scroll. This is an easy comparison right here. They're both ceramic, but the Nevada Jack to me just has a, that little bit of character that really makes it unique. Sure, it might be a little vulgar. A cigar, really, the dead man's hand, the wild Bill Hickok imagery going on here. Is that a little bit vulgar? Yes, but I love it. I love it that it has that character to it. It's not just an poker chip. People walk out, you know, and they're like, oh yeah, we played with these poker chips and it said Nevada Jack on there. Lovely. They feel, you know, like a ceramic, just like the scrolls feel like an ceramic. So Nevada Jack, just a chip I really, really like. And every time I bring these out, I'm always just like, man, why don't I own a set of these? I, buy, I, bought, I bought several stacks looking, you know, samples and stuff and man they sure are nice but maybe i'll get around to it next we have another china clay from apache poker chip.com and again i paid for all of these because i'm like i'm looking for some sets here the pharaohs these have a lovely edge spot progression and imagery progression let me just do one here you can go and watch the full video if you want but you compare the one and the five for example you can see they both have different images but the same font easy to read edge spot progression so you go from the pyramid pattern here to the the tri triple dot edge spot right here 
there's a name for it. I don't remember exactly what it is. There's a technical one quarter inch, three one quarter inch by three color, tricolor or something, or rather, whatever. So definitely pharaohs are up there. And I want to introduce number two here. The dunes, yes. The dunes china clay. Again, these three are all china clays. They're all available at Apache Poker Chips, and they keep bouncing around my top five, but they're always consistently in my top five. Some weeks I'll really love the Majestic, and then I'll really love the Pharaoh, and then I'll really love the dunes. Right now, the dunes are winning. I love all of these. Basically, you could just pick one of these, and you can't really go wrong. It's just your looks, or what you, not necessarily how you look, but how you like your poker chips to look. It's really just a preference thing. And it all comes down to appearance. Sure, there are some little subtle differences. Like if you really compare, well, the edges on this one are slightly different than that one. Yeah, that might be the case. And there's like stamping differences. So like this has the crown and diamond stamp. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see that in this lighting around the edges here. While the dunes actually has dunes stamped in here, very much like the casino chip. Pharaohs have pharaohs stamped in there. Again, this is based off of the Pharaoh Paulson poker chip, which I think was a very good selling Paulson set, if not the best selling Paulson set. So, you know, you can see there are little differences like that. It really comes down to preference. Now, should we play some music? I don't have any music. All right, we're gonna introduce number one, and this is no surprise to anybody, the Tiki Kings. I just love these things. Quick disclaimer, you know, read the description on where, to, where I purchased these. But remember, there's going to be a several week turnaround if you buy these new from the manufacturer because they actually make them for you. And you can semi custom them, you can switch some colors around or denominations if you want. They'll be happy to do that for you. I think there's a little charge for that, but hey, it's your poker chip set, right? So these are actually just the bare bones, bog stock Tiki Kings I bought from BR Pro Poker, I believe is the website. You can go. Again, I reference you to the description below. So, how does your top 10 compare to my top 10? Like I said before, hopefully all of us have different tastes and your sets will look different than mine. Number one, Tiki Kings. Number two, Dunes. The Dunes Clay. Number three, the Pharaohs. The China Clay Pharaohs. The, we're talking about stock poker chips available in 2017, so, you know, the Pulse and Pharaohs are out. Nevada Jack Ceramics, Majestic China Clays, Key West, Classic Poker Chips, man, those are nice. Milano's, Scroll, the Ascona, so close to being so good. A little color things, maybe some designs. For me, this, again, it's a personal thing. Some, some people could easily rank this number one. As far as quality goes, this is a superb chip. Tiki Kings and the Ascona are both really good when it comes to quality. And then finally, I, got, I like these. These I like these. They're a little spunky. I like them. They're fun. The Next Gen Pro Classic. I hope this was entertaining. I hope this got some of your thought process going about how would you rate your chips. So that said, right now, if I were to go out and buy 500, 1,000 poker chips, stock poker chips right now, I would seriously go out and buy the Dunes. And then, you know, once I got those, I'd seriously be considering, what do I want? Do I want Nevada Jacks or Pharaohs? Do I want more China Clays or do I want more ceramics? And it would be fun. Or I could even go with, you know, something different, like some hybrids. You see how interesting it is? I love the poker chip world. I'm a little bit excited about it. Leave us your comments. Uh, tell us what your top 10 would be. If you don't want to do top 10, leave us your top three. Or if you think I'm a kook, which there's a 70% chance I am, leave a comment and let us know. Thank you so much for watching. My name is John Hobby. Please subscribe.